And welcome. This is CT5. And we're gonna play some ranked. We're gonna stick with the tasty dwarves. Boop. Boop. And smack. Smack a doodle do. Oh, I didn't title the thing on the. Well, oh, well, no, it's still appropriate. Alright, all is well. All is well. <sighs> but, uh, oh, yeah, it'll be a shortish stream. Title the thing on the Oh, no, oh, that's my voice. No, it's still appropriate. Alright, all that's no good. Can't have that. Captain Smashy. Oh my. Oh, I could look. Oh dear. Oh, he's door. Okay, that's awkward. Um, it's awkward, obviously, because the Dwarven Warcry becomes super, super weird. You know what else is weird? This dude. Like, what the shit is gonna happen? So I'm very glad I have the sprint team. It's only move six, so I have to think where to go. Um, you could say go here and start harassing, especially with a hypno beacon right there. Say he's gonna, he's trying to get the leg up. So another option is just one, two, three, four, five, six. Just go around here, do the same kind of thing. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and I can. Uh, have you go this way, or this way, but that just seems inefficient. Now seems like a good time for sprint teams, so let's do that. Uh, that's actually a pretty awkward spot to go. Should be pretty safe from you here as well. Martyr's Blessing. Alright, let's drop that Hypno Beacon in the good spot. He thought I wanted to hit him. <laughs> no! No. Of course not. Yes! Yes, we're so good! Um, Alright, waddle onto Victory Square. <clears throat> oh! Oh, damn. He got me. Oh, yes! Cover the defenders! Oh, damn. This is so good. We are so good. Let's see, he's got. He has to really go the long way if he wants to avoid us. Just dump some damage on. Oh, that was so good! Everything is going our way, basically. Amazing. Oh, I could have flanked onto the victory square. I should have done that. Or just walked on. Um, yeah, stealing points is good. Like, dwarf. Like priest, right? Probably has heals and stuff. Alright, we'll have to figure something out about that one. Just gonna have to figure something out about just like everything here. This is not a good round two for us at all. Um Yeah, it's not very good. Tongues for everyone. <laughs> He's on the thing. Doesn't want to be there. Dodge. Uh, his wizard is there, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, I kind of want to be the victor sword, but I probably don't. 
So I'm thinking where I should walk with this one. I probably should walk. Um, he happened to get his moves. Almost certainly has attacks. And if anything, I want him to attack into my dwarf. Ugh, I might just have to pitch these two. I mean, they're my, my sucky attacks anyways. Like, Um, I just don't want him to get any value off of this, so why don't we walk? <sighs> so I think the spot that makes the most sense. I should try and move this way. Here, I run to that. Here, I'm kind of getting sandwiched in between these two, but next turn I can start fighting you. Um, assuming he doesn't have more buffs. So I have to figure something out about that. Um, teamwork doesn't sound bad. Is the storm is making life difficult? he comes in and then I waddle away again to a really iffy spot. That's ideal for the warriors. Stab? Pause. I don't want to give him cards. I don't want to just attack him. How scared am I actually? Okay, you're in basically trapped, so I might as well take the victory square. We have a sparkles and escaping run. Hey, lucky dice. Welcome. Oh, shit. Why are you doing all of their homework? That sounds bad. Oh, that makes sense. It's time to get a kill on this one. Oh, he could have a thing. you and puts you in stab range. Just stay here, we should winds of war out of sight. In case of a TK thing? And now we can do stuff like this. Secures kill. We don't take any blind rage damage. I don't know, maybe that's. Well, that's perfect then. Oh, and we get the cantrip! Oh, we are so good at this game. Slash, you know, just getting really lucky. It still sucks that you're the one who has to do all the homework. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. That sounds awful. And oh, unblockables. Go home, sir. Oh, 
probably have armor by this point. Nope. Oh, this is gonna be tasty! This is gonna be so tasty. Oh, yeah! Oh. When everything goes your way, that's what happens. Seriously, from the Hypno Beacon and the Sprint Team to get my dues in position. Uh, yeah, damn, dude. That's crazy. What's up with these dwarves? Why are so many people playing dwarves? Aren't dwarves terrible on this map? On these maps? I don't understand. TK's despair. Start passing for a while. Oh, he's two priests and no two priests. Hmm. I think sticking together is going to be the right move, especially since we, ha we have a TK here. No, that was wrong. <sighs> Cards are fun. Cards are fun. And if I can get a kill, then it's better. So I say that was wrong because... I feel like having that big, really big move is going to be really important to catch the wizard. Luckily for us, we can just play the passing game for a long while. Um, he can sing me if he moves there. Which is probably okay. Literally TF2 2.0. 
Typical, is what I'd say. Defender's block. Let's keep passing. I like passing. Now let's also keep in mind, we have an ass ton of movement available. We could potentially catch a kill. Is that who I want, though? <laughs> I could force bolt my own dude. That sounds hilarious. Making moves potentially bad, but I do have a lot of damage. It's unfortunate I can't do it really smoothly, like in just two moves. I have to use a force bolt first. But there are things we can do. Um, this actually turns out to be a pretty good spot for this wizard to land. I was originally wanting this one to be here, and that couldn't have happened. Um, but... Oh, bummer. Unless I leapfrog him. I also have laser block, so I can sneak him in there. Fuck. That was the worst possible outcome by far. Holy shit. That was really bad. <sighs> do we commit or do we abort? We are dwarf. Uh-oh. That's all I'm gonna say. That's a really big uh-oh. He's set up to go nuts.
pushes off. Oh, you're done, right? That's okay. Worth. Oh, that's a lot of damage, but I think it is worth. You should be dead now. And we'll take the three squares to win. Maybe I should have gone back here. I still would have been in range for a thing. <sighs> now I feel like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just waddle away. Waddle on. If he has rocket charge. That would have been freaking amazing. Thank you, big damage. Thank you, unnerving strikes. That was pretty good. Right, let's try one more. Good luck with your homework, Lucky Dice. It's still weird that... You're doing everything that sucks. Ugh. Hope we're doing okay otherwise. And everyone else watching. Hope you're also having a good day. That would be good. Yoshi Poo's Rainbow. Okay. Ooh, it's a game. Mike 111. Didn't I play him somewhat recently? What is up with the dwarves? Ugh. Nothing makes sense. Wizard! He's got a wizard! That's us. <sighs> Nothing wrong with passing. <sighs> what are their doors? Oh 
snap. He went into the middle. What does that mean? I could pass. That just gives him a free victory square. It's not very good. <sighs> Waddling field seems like it'd be very awkward. still move. Can I draw him out? That's okay. I was hoping that, like, that would put him to move. Um, this plan... I don't think this is a plan, guys. Alright. Now we can waddle here. Dog. Good sir. Traveler, so I could. Part of me thinks I should just punish and get the kill right now. Part of me thinks I could walk here and whip you for a while. I'm going for the greed. So this is where using that flank move was the, was the problem, because it would be nice to be able to start first and get whack here. Oh wow! Nice! Cantrip! All my dreams. All my dreams. When laser tags do stuff like that, oh my god, it's disgusting. It is so disgusting. Oh 
Oh, this is nice! There's like two whips on turn one? Nice! Alright, so let's get my own sight here. We're in a good spot there. I'll just punish. Maybe he's just really mad. Yeah. I'd be pretty mad too! I'd have been really mad too. Hello, second viewer. Luther's at the Wizard's Workshop. Alright, so right now... Yeah, cool stuff. <laughs> cool stuff to love you guys. What's next? Now I could Ember Burst to push off the vulnerable. Oh, I had walked to That's why I've got a single player brain just kind of whoosh. Look at that 
value. You've got some track for me, eh? I don't think I want to use a fire storm. I've heard this one before. Um, when I was younger, my brother played this game a little bit. Didn't actually get like, so much familiar with it, funnily enough. Vulnerable and combustible. Where are you going? Oh my god. Well this map took a lot longer than it usually did. And now there are sardines for dinner. Yay? This side is better. The left side of my face is better at moving around. Maybe not. Ah. <laughs> wow. Lunch and then get ready for it. That's me. This team has been performing fine so far. It doesn't really rely on this guy getting the big damage stuff. <sighs> Most of the times are actually pretty dingy. Um, I don't really know what he's trying to do. There's a lot of control to survive and get favorable matchups because my guys don't have a, don't have too much damage on their own usually. 
they really need to gang up on targets, and so the control from this dude helps a lot with that. And you two are delightfully weird jumbles. Well, you're just mostly London Dash. And it works out. That didn't work on his shield. I don't know. What am I building? I don't think I have time for actual building. But, um, what I had in mind was that since, well one, right now just checking, we'll see how this team's doing, but um, there's a second instance, I got an instant snowman on in the daily deal the other day. And so I was thinking of checking out on the Frosty Silver team, maybe two instant snowmans on the same dude, see how that works out. Um, I'll get to that in a moment. I'll just get to it right now, I don't really have any thoughts. I, see, I feel like it does what it wants to do pretty well. And how many Lich's Lockets? Zero. Ugh. Hey, Jet. Sorry? As you all know, there's nothing I can really do about ads. I don't think. <laughs> that's how that's how it works usually with me. <laughs> Welcome aboard. You made your version of two is one warrior. That sounds good. So one thing to keep in mind in the context of an Inquisitor's Strike based team thingy. Um, Inquisitor's Strike with Cold is that, right, Cold Snap only lasts for one turn. So you can't, you can't prep an opponent with Frost Jolt and then next round get a good smack in. If you want the bonus damage from Inquisitor's Strike, it also be that one round. So I think for, so depending, right, in some ways this is kind of awkward, but I just like big damage and it's fun. Uh, remember, Instant Snowman is not a, um, especially 2x Instant Snowman, this is not a, an encumber-based thing. This is... Pure damage. Since it only lasts one round, it's not very effective as a way to slow your opponent down. Unless you get the first turn, then it can be hilariously, um, hilariously annoying. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's. But yeah. Two X Instant Snowman, just pure big cold damage.
Though I guess if you did care about this, if I did care about Inquisitor Strike, what I could then do is do stuff like this. And yeah, Boop. a funny little one. Spiteful bucket. If I ever wanted to do an ancient pathfinding, ancient grudge kind of thing. Um, Lich's locket. Yes, it would be wonderful if I had one. I don't. Which is unfortunate. But, like, this is really interesting from the Force Cone, and there's also Icy Circlet, Force Cannon. Bam. Going away. I'm not sure I want to click on that. Though actually it won't show up on stream. What? <laughs> huh. <laughs> that was funny. It was a picture of a chainsaw with like video game controller stuff. So it's also good worth considering there. Uh, South of the Arctic, still super awkward. No idea how I'm how I'm ever gonna use this. How to play F15 with that? <laughs> Looks like a card hunter item. It totally does. <laughs> I have two. This is another two wizard, one warrior team. That's crazy. Is there any battle axe the one with two warrior hacks? And then four lunging hacks? That sounds right. It's pretty interesting. But, hmm. That's interesting. Lich's Locket would be nice. Lich's Locket isn't so force cone, it's a creature of the night. It's a trait. We love. Everyone loves traits. So I guess I could try this out. Force Cannon seems like it'd be more fun. But it's a legendary! Legendaries have to be better. Oh my god, there's only three traits. Well, five. Four or five ish traits. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, nine traits. Can I try Thin Sparkling? Uh, yeah, Thin Sparkling is good. Do you mean, like, for this one? Right now? Is this even the right move to instant snowman? It's big damage. Yeah, sure, I can do thin sparkling. Thin sparkling is good. That's a 1700 to 1800 item. Not ember float. Ember float's just like a sad compromise. Go big. Yeah, sparkling cloth is just so annoying for can be so annoying to deal with. Raging Resilience. I bet I don't have it. I have Reclusive. I have Advanced. I have Apprentice. That's a trait. <sighs> so 
super cool. It's ice. Oh. What's the Boosh SPR Nightling item? Mm. Mm. This works. Hmm. So a little bit less consistency. Um, so this was a super cool laser instead. So you still keep a couple of frost jolts. And remember, what's really nice about frost jolt is the eight range. Pairs very well with cooling lasers. Eight range. That's a eight. Eight is a very big number for wizards. Whether it's damage or range, huge, huge. Um, then he had a couple of liches lockets for the cone of cold to go with the cooling lasers. Oh, there it is. Boop. And a couple of these on as well. Two of these and two licious lockets. Um, I feel like I'd want to try this out first, but I, I think I can totally see that being better. All right, so let's say we do that. Remember, weak block is very randomly relevant. Screw with wizards all day. All day. And Flash of Agony can hit people like from really far away. And then holy crap, Lucky Dice is dressing Boo with genetic engineering or gene therapy. Okay, well, you know what, I'm gonna, let's save this for now, probably revisit this in the meantime. Let's work on that idea for just a wee bit. Probably like, like 30 more minutes at most and I'll have to get going. I probably overwrote my gene therapy thing. That was just really good. What the hell is that? Uh, advanced therapy, that's what it was. This was a stupid thing I had that involved genetic engineering. I tried a peasant based version one time. That didn't work well. This still looks like peasant. This is peasant. This is totally peasant. Maybe you're not peasant. You're not peasant. Everything else is. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Why did I have double edged sword? I guess the movement and sound. Oh, makes sense. I have to do something with Boo. Boo. It's Batnado. Swarm of bats. There's the blinking wisp bobble. That feels pretty good. That's okay. Oh, that's pretty funny. It's funny. No. I guess. No, no, no. Ooh, that is really bad. Ooh. Ooh. I 
All right, so these are boo items. Oh, but there might be some on staves too, like this one. Okay. 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 I should put on some music. engineering or gene therapy so I only play this if I'm behind the target I give them a dash and a fright yeah that's a lot of traits I do I like my traits shit's amazing Um, this is just a really, this is like a really very solid control wizard for what it's worth. Um, this could also be gusting face. I think this is before uh, Castle or not. So yeah, counter blast is solid. Gusting, if you really want to amp up the control, then go gusting face staff. Slots right in. A lot of gusts of war, which is hilarious. Holy crap! Holy crap! How'd you get that many traits? That sounds awesome. That is hilarious. I remember you talking about the Valpurgus with Touch of Death thing, and with Quick Current, that is hilarious. Wow. Wow. That's really cool. That's really cool. So I guess the boring way to do things would be just slap a bunch of arrogant armors on, but again, that's boring, so we're not going to do that. Mm, why do you think I might want to be a human? But I get this, which I can gene away. So how all in do I want to be in the gene therapies? Slash, do I even want warrior. Chat has an answer for me as to how I got so many traits onto a priest. Sacrificial axe? Wait, what? I only see six traits. You lied to me. Or do you mean all together between the two? That's very different. But that's okay. I forgive you. This is cool. Well, that's cool. It's a lot of healing. So I guess I, I, do I up the, my gene therapies?
you count the WK. <laughs> What's WK? I looked at the thing again, I didn't see a WK anywhere. I'm stupid. I this is what I mean when I say I'm really slow about things. There's two gene therapies here. That's very reasonable. Just two attacks, push the button is solid. Destructive purge is hilarious. You get gene therapy. Ah, okay, all good, all good. The base of all these are yellow token. That makes things very hard to do to work with. Oh, there's oh hey. You're blue and like would be totally perfect for this boo plus genetic engineering idea. Goodbye, super mobility. Maybe you shouldn't maybe you shouldn't be an elf. So we have seven gene therapies now. That is way more than we need, probably. Like this is already one, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. I'm kind of engineering as therapy. Um. She is a real nurse now. <laughs> I could I, just, I could do it on myself, no problem. Slap the Aegis of the Defender on. And this is radiation. No altruism anywhere in here. But I think that Two invigorating touches, that's a, a good touch. Whoa! Jesus! That did not work. <laughs> Possess shoes, you are cute, but we are no longer playing peasant with this team, so why bother? <laughs> Hello, Angel. Welcome. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. I need to blow my nose. So what, goat boots? Oh, there's the cursed gum shoes. Oh, that's funny. Why does it hit all oh, the squeamish? I don't want... This is glimmer boots. Which has a trait and everything. But I don't think it's what I want. I don't think it's what I want. So I do not want Squeamish to come up, because I have a bunch of big attacks. Right, that would be painful. Wow, I have three destructive parts of Jesus. This priest is, sounds like she could be super annoying. You would add one sacrificial axe. It's way too- ha Wait, isn't sacrificial axe the greedy play though? By getting two traits on? Isn't that what, what- What's greedy about this? I feel like having... <laughs> I feel like having the attacks from the Radhammers rounds, rounds this character out. Um, I guess Sacrificial Axe, you still get damage. So some solid attacks. The Vulnerables feels risky, but it does make your... The, uh... It does make the gene therapy more effective. Perhaps that's your point? Wait, that's really cute. I could, um, zombie form my dude and then genetic it away.
Okay, that idea totally doesn't work. Because Spark of Undeath, I draw two zombie cards, and then I get rid of the zombie form, that's not good. Spark of Undeath with Arrogant Armor, that is good. That's just draw two cards, that's awesome. Um, am I the building guy? I am a building guy. I'm not the building guy. There are people who build a lot better. They're the good players. <laughs> um, I'm also not sure about what you mean by it would be harder to connect. Because, like, I don't have, like, any extra movement on here. Do you mean hard to connect with the gene therapy? I would agree with that. I would totally agree with that. That seems good. Boost of Distraction seems like what we want. It's tokenless. There's a, a handicap that we can get rid of with Gene Therapy, except when we can't, then it's awkward. Then it's awkward. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you mean. This is like a less devastating version. Except Wild Run is awkward sometimes. We get a very a generally harmless trait at the cost of no movement. But it is an option. It is an option. So it'd probably be ideal if we could spare a blue token for it. Maybe. Now this seems... This seems really good for blue token... Boots. Cause like, with escaping run, you really want to draw a card off of it? I mean, sometimes obviously you use it as a move when you need to. Um, but the reason is that the quality it is is because it can draw you a card. That's what you want. Unclear if this is someone... Unclear if we're going to be running away with this person, right? Gumshoes, gumshoes are indeed funny. You don't fit in so well. Something tokenless here. Ooh. I still don't have like, the outcast relic. And oh yeah, this wizard needs to change dramatically. Very dramatically. I don't know if I have enough time for it today. Um But also in, in terms of needing a way to get in. We have controlly stuff, and we can still apply the boo to ourselves in the gene therapy in a way. So we have... I think we can get there. I think we can get there. And if I really want traits... Now should this character be an elf? I don't know. I don't know. What do you ha Ooh, to there is jump soldier at token list, which comes with a vulnerable. Where is it? I know you exist. Here it is. That's a reason to have it be a human priest instead. <sighs> like, elf can be a bit squishy sometimes. <sighs> but elves are good. Elves, it's, it's training. If I play an elf, it would be training. That's what it would be. Okay, so I still need a tokenless divine item here. Um, depending on what we're looking for, <laughs> we'll agree to heal. Um, so 
So be annoying. Be annoying in a different way. Trait? But two things, it's not very good. I will check out Kyber's at some point. The trait, but not real, but not the kind of trait that we want. <sighs> That's a good compromise. I get a trait. Well, I might just do that. Let's, let's check out a few other things. Um, I think I have enough. I do have like four purge effects: three destructive purges and one normal purge. And even the genetic engineering can be used as a purge. I don't really need to worry about the purging charm. Is this better? Mass Frenzy's probably better. One more hurts more. It's as good you have all these traits that goes well with the uh, thing. Okay. So that makes sense. I guess Shutting Rogue is probably better. Uh, Mass Frenzy is definitely better than Non Holy Frenzy. But. What's funny about this is that if I happen to get both vulnerable and Nightling on at the same time, and then use the Gene Therapy, it's way better in that case. So let's go for the funny plays. Good for a different kind of build. This is one way to get a million trades on a priest. Alright, three of these, two uh, sacrificial axes. Well, we still need to put our tokens somewhere, so we could probably upgrade these in some way, but that'd be funny. But if you have two sacrificial, four, sticky slayer, six, eight, ten, I'm 12, 13. You can get a lot of trades on a priest. Damn, that's a lot of trades. That could be really fun. You could also just die, depending on the kind of trades. Anyways. Okay, this priest works. And I I still have the option of turning this into sacrificial axe and then getting these moving these two tokens around somewhere. That could be pretty good too. Snowman priest. So we see the large weapons here. Another way to do things is Rotting Club. Go Bash-centric. Be a Bash-centered warrior. Oh, if I... If I ever get impeccabil Impeccability... The two ready to strike... I don't have it now, but maybe one day... Maybe one day... This is pretty good. This is like very reasonable. If I ever get that impeccability, oh, it could be fun stuff involved. It could be really fun stuff involved. Alright, I'm gonna finish off this warrior and then uh, save it. Finish it. Finish the whole team up another time. But I do think the priest is in a good spot. Let's go with high gene therapy density first, tweak from there. How do I introduce more sad traits? Oh, <gasps> I know how! We have delicate dervish now. Perfect. Can we sneak in a fifth kind of bad handicap? Well, there's blind rage. 
sort of counts. In the boots. Oh, there's a nightling. Not very good. Yeah, I agree, Jut. At some point, you need a play test. Get some data, and then you can go from there. You know how to tweak from there. These look awfully similar. That's worth considering. Something else that caught my eye earlier. I guess I should look for a token list in case there's an alternative. Um, but one thing I saw when looking at through the boots was the muscle bound boots. That's arrogant. There's another superstitious with arrogant. Do I have galvanized zombie? I know what you're talking about. It's grounding plates, barge, I think nightling. I'm guessing I don't. Galv. No. I don't. But that would work well. That would have been good. That would have worked well. Yeah, but yeah, this could be a thing too. Um, I get some movement, which I need while introducing a new trait, a trait that's mostly harmless as well. I could use this. Um, this is also, uh, yeah, blue token boots, that's what it's at. But it did seem like the, um, Well, I guess what this means, if we go for max density hilarious, that's what we do. If we want to be a little bit more reasonable, I guess there's nothing in heavy armor, so. All right, this is the funny version. Nine traits here. Love it. Hey, Silent Caster, welcome. Unfortunately for you, you pulled the doll, cause I'm about to stop. And you make lunch, and then yeah, I have a job interview. Ooh. In a little bit. Hopefully work at the board game cafe nearby for a little bit, or something. Okay, I'll stay five more minutes. Five more minutes. That should be fine. Maybe. Well, let's, let's take a quick review of what we've accomplished so far. Um, we're going for Max Hilarious on the traits and stuff. Which we want because of gene therapy. So perhaps I actually want this one. Team movement is nice. Um, also, we're getting fright already from the thing. We're not hurting ourselves anymore. So investigate seems less relevant. Um, the block, having the hard to pin, is a thing to to look at. It's definitely a thing to consider. It's pretty. It's a good block, and I can use it as movement. Uh, but team movement is really good. Team shift is awesome. He's gonna need all the help. Just not interested. In, yeah, I'm kind of the same way. I, also, part of it is like I've like I've just sort of open. I look at all the mess. I skim through the messages, and then just quit it. Um. I don't know. It seems like 
I feel like we have gone. It seems like there have been more people starting to play, so it's like. And Baron's doing regular streams and stuff, so. I could. Yeah, I don't know. I probably will revisit it at some point, just to be like. Just to get an idea for what's going Also, Raven's there! And he's like way better at anything I could ever do, so. They're, they're fine. <laughs> he is way smart and way better at, at the game than basically everyone there. Like, actually. Um, and he's more vocal. He's more vocal about it. He's more eloquent. He's, he can explain things better. He's just better. Um, yeah. It's also just like, for me, like a lot of my hobbies and games is very... All really... Similar? Right? A lot of these card games and um, even Arena, there's a lot of... In team building, there's a lot of parallels. Right? Of making... Of finding the right combination of stuff to have things work the way you want it to. Um... If only it worked that way, Judd. If only it worked that way. But since... Like, a lot of a lot of the games I enjoy are all kind of very similar, it's like that part of my brain just like, uh, I don't really want to... It's like constantly being used and it kind of wants a break from time to time, I guess? Except I don't even work. And it's like, oh no, playing games. Brain tired, boohoo. No. That doesn't really count. Um, but like in some ways it's like more of the same, and it is nice to do different things from time to time. Says the guy who plays the same few games a lot. But yeah, Echoing Sidecaster here, just disinterested. Just, it, it's like things, things come and go, right? Like, like a sine wave. Sometimes you're really onto something, and then after a while it's like, ah, I want something different, and then later on you like somehow catch a whiff of it. It's like, whoa, my God, this is awesome. Um, right? Maybe you see someone else play. Welcome back, lucky dice, etc. Sardines for dinner. Sardines for dinner. So much for reviewing what we've done, but these two do feel pretty good. So it's up to you. We have to include. We have to get the booze in somewhere, somehow. But you have so many traits. You have so many traits. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, Jut, I'm glad that. It seems like it's been more than just one week that you've been passionate about Card Hunter. And that makes me happy. That should make a lot of folks happy. If we get more people to be super passionate about Card Hunter, that'd be great. All right, that was the five minutes I had allotted just for Silent Caster. Oh, cool, good stuff. Joining Leviathan? Good stuff. Um, so next week... It is next week, because so I'm going on a little trip this weekend. So next week... Yeah, let's finish this wizard up and play a few games. Until then, take care, hope it was fun, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!